Introducing the Electromagnetic Spectrum by kscience.com. This here is the electromagnetic spectrum that I'm drawing. This part of the electromagnetic spectrum is where you find the longest wavelengths. This is where you find the radio waves. The radio waves have the longest wavelengths. And as you decrease the wavelength, you're going to find microwaves. And when you decrease the wavelength even further, you're going to find the infrared waves. And as you shorten the wavelengths further, you're going to find the visible light, the ultraviolet radiation, then the X-rays, and then the gamma radiation. We're now going to compare the wavelengths of the waves within the electromagnetic spectrum. The radio waves have the longest wavelengths, the longest wavelengths. And the gamma rays, they have the shortest wavelengths, as you can see here. So gamma rays have the shortest wavelengths and radio waves have the longest wavelengths. So radio waves can have a wavelength of between 10 to the power of 4 meters and 10 to the power of minus 1 meters. And as we go down the electromagnetic spectrum from radio waves to microwaves, the wavelength gets shorter, so there's a decrease in wavelength. Infrared waves, they are shorter than radio waves, so there's a decrease in wavelength. Infrared waves, they are shorter than radio waves. Ultraviolet wavelengths are shorter still, and as you go to X-rays and then gamma rays, you're going to find the shortest wavelengths, which are gamma rays, which go as short as 10 to the minus 15 meters. So as you move down the electromagnetic spectrum from radio waves to gamma rays, you're going to decrease the wavelength. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. And as you decrease the wavelength, you're going to increase the frequency. So as you decrease the wavelength, you increase the frequency. So radio waves have the lowest frequency and gamma rays have got the highest frequency. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. You're going to learn the uses in way more detail in other videos. But just a quick overview, radio waves are used to transmit radio signals. So if you listen to radio, they are being transmitted via radio waves. Microwaves are used in satellite communications as well as cooking by using microwaves in the kitchen. One of the uses of infrared radiation is going to be in heaters. So you can have infrared heaters in the house. We use visible light to see, but visible light is also used in other uses, which you're going to learn about in another video. We use ultraviolet light in many different ways, but one of the main uses of ultraviolet light is to check for forged banknotes. X-rays are used in hospitals to determine whether bones are broken, for example, as you can see here. And gamma rays are used in hospitals too, for radiotherapy, which is to treat cancer patients. So a quick recap. You're going to find the longest wavelengths in the radio wave section and they decrease in wavelength as you move down the electromagnetic spectrum through microwaves, infrared radiation, visible light, ultraviolet light, x-rays and gamma rays. The wavelength gets shorter. So radio waves have the longest wavelength. Infrared waves have shorter wavelengths still. Ultraviolet light has shorter wavelengths and gamma rays have the shortest wavelengths. But as you decrease the wavelength, you're going to increase the frequency. So as you move down the electromagnetic spectrum from radio waves down to gamma rays, you're going to increase the frequency of the waves. So radio waves have the lowest frequency, but the longest wavelengths. And gamma rays have got the shortest wavelengths, 
but the highest frequency. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.